Good morning from Ullswater. This morning we're going to drive to the other side of Ullswater and we're going to head in that direction and we're going to do a group of Wayne Wright Fells over there. It's dry this morning so hopefully great walking weather for us and not so good for the frogs. We have arrived. Cars park behind us. Hallin Fell is to our right. We did that a couple of years ago. We're not doing that today. Our journey is taking us this way. Glorious views. Lane is checking our route, aren't you, Lane? You're navigating today. Oh, I'm navigating today. <laughs> it's a bit of a... If it goes wrong... Bit of a hike to the first fell today. Um, we're doing six fells. Hopefully, you can see them on the screen now. But most of them are all clustered together. And it is a fair hike to the first one. So, let's go for it. Right, we've reached the old church of St. Martin. here we go off the lane we start heading up there so our first fell of today it's called high rays it's just over three miles away in that direction over there Quite prominently is the NAB, one of the final fells we've got to reach today. So we're going to be walking all the way around here to reach the NAB. We've just hiked up from down there and we've gone up a level. Don't look down. There is still not, which we did two years ago when we also did Halling Fell. So we've kind of we've walked alongside that today because there's no need to revisit it. And we are heading on. Ridge. But instead of going left, we are going right. And this stretch along here is called High Street. And it will lead us to our first Wainwright of the day. Yes. High rays. It looks as if we're going to be heading into the cloud to reach our fells as long as we maintain our sense of direction and stick with our map we'll be absolutely fine views may be minimal though who knows by the time we get there it may actually be clear so once we've done the fells over here we'll be coming along here rest dodd is there and then we come down Right in the day. We've just stopped and sheltered by this wall. You can hear the wind whipping round us. There's high rise. Thank you. 
four miles and several hours to get to this first pay ride of the day. What a hike. But now, the next three are really close. I'll show you now. One over there, one over there, and one over there. So, if you can hear me, <laughs> we're heading over there first, which is Kids Dive Pike. Then we head over there for Ramsgill Head before we head further on to the final three fells. Gill Head is next. 0.3 of a mile away. We will literally be doing four Wainwrights in less than an hour. They're all clustered together. Took us ages to get here, mind. But now we're here. Fell picking. Fell-tastic. I'll stop with the puns now. Ramsgill Head. Dodd and the nab. Straight on. The lane's beating me to the top and quite rightly so too. That was really quite tough to the other day. But my lane paced itself. I don't think she stopped. Well done. Rest Dodd. Yep, could do with the rest right now. Hey. Great views amongst all the rain. I don't know if you can see, there's a helicopter down there. This one may have had an accident and being rescued. The rain's cleared a bit and we can see our route. We've just spoken to somebody and they said someone down there's broken their ankle, hence the reason for the helicopter. See all this is private land and apparently the owner tolerates people walking on it to do the Wainwright. Has to tolerate a lot I guess. They do wonder why Wainwright wanted this as one of his 214 Wainwrights but a Wainwright it is it's all supposed to be very boggy so we're going to take it easy when we get down there So today we have walked all the way along the top there and when we got to back over there we grabbed four Wainwrights 
fifth one over there and our sixth one the nab over here Head on back down. Our aim now to complete the circular route. Long walk back to the car though. Our guide now says we're going to head down towards the bungalow, join the path there, and join the country lane, which takes us through the valley back to the car. Well, we've got down from the nab. That was really steep coming down. We had to slide down the grass on our backsides just to feel safe. So I don't know what it's like for anyone heading up. Elaine will tell you the nab is not her favourite fell. She'll tell you now, but she's well ahead of me over there. She's bombing it. Back down by the lane. A long walk back. Let's catch up with the lane and ask him a question. What has been your least favourite fell of the day? The last one, the nab. The nab. <laughs> back at the church of St Martin, which means the car isn't far away. Find the car, get back to our cottage, have a cup of tea. So today we parked here by a little church by Hallin Fell. And we walked along here, we went up onto the ridge. We walked and we walked and we walked four and a half miles until eventually we got to High Rays. Because then we cut across to Kidsty Pike. Then we went to Rampsgill Head. Then we did the Knot, Restod. That was quite a trek down and up. And then to finish off, we did the NAB, where we witnessed a helicopter recovering somebody who'd broken their ankle. Getting down off the NAB was just horrendous. Horrendous. So steep, I ended up sitting on my bum and sliding down. And then we walked all the way back and we covered about 11 and a half miles to do six Wainwrights. Woohoo! It's someone's birthday tomorrow. Uh, 